Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I would show you how I like to straighten my hair. So once I get out of the shower, the first thing I like to do is put on my daily facial moisturizer. And this is just because I don't like to touch my skin once I have hair product on my hands. So first of all, I put on my moisturizer and I let it absorb. And then I take my hair out of my towel and kind of slowly dry it. You want to be really gentle with your hair when it's wet. And then I use my favorite product of all time. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is basically a leave-in conditioner that I like to put in. And I let it also like sink in and absorb into my hair um, while I do my makeup. But what's really important here is that you really focus on the ends. If you put it on your roots, it doesn't make your hair greasy, but it is really important to focus it on your hair and distribute it evenly and all the way through to your roots because this will protect it also from the heat. And then after I put in that Miracle Even product, I can easily brush and comb out my hair. You, again here, when your hair is wet, it's very fragile, so you wanna be very delicate. And I use a Tangle Teaser for this because it is good on wet hair. And then with a snap of my fingers, I have my makeup done. In the meantime, I've let my hair air dry as much as possible, but if it's not completely dry, um, which it normally isn't because my hair is pretty thick, I will take my blow dryer, and this is um, an Amika blow dryer, I love it. It's amazing um, and if you do have this blow dryer what I like to do is I do I put it on the plus this this blow dryer actually has negative and positive ions so when I dry it I will dry it on positive and that way it will give my hair a little bit more texture a little bit more volume and it's not as uh, it doesn't really process the hair as much so first I just go ahead and just dry my hair quickly. My hair is straight naturally, so I can do this and it doesn't get all tangled up. If your hair is um, wavy or curlier, you might wanna do that with like a brush. Uh, and then I use a heat protectant again before I go ahead and use heat directly on my hair. So I use the Tresemme one. Now because I do have bangs, I just like to blow dry the bangs in the front outward. It's just the way I like it on myself. I personally don't like to straighten my bangs because then they just, they, they go really flat on your forehead. So I personally just blow dry that out and then I move on to my straightener. So of course I start off by sectioning my hair just because my hair is thick. If your hair is not so thick, you might not need to section it off as much as I do. But basically what my trick is or what I think is really important when straightening your hair is to properly comb out each section before you actually apply the straightener onto the hair. It distributes the, the heat more evenly I feel and you kind of only have to go over each piece once. So I hold the hair um, or the straightener on the hair slowly and I work its way my way down and I find that to be less damaging than just going over and over the same piece and then towards the very end of the hair I don't like when my hair just kind of falls flat so I tilt the, the straightener as you can see a little bit inward and it kind of gives a little bit more volume at the tips and it makes it look like you blow dried as opposed to just completely flat out into your hair. And then once I've done that complete lower section, I will let some more hair down and then do the exact same thing. Just make sure I comb it out and then slowly, slowly straighten each piece. And then while I was filming this, I realized you couldn't actually see the ends of my hair because my hair is getting pretty long. So I just wanted to show you, you see how the ends don't just kind of fall flat, they kind of curve inward. And I think it's just a little bit more flattering. I do that on all of my head, except for the very top layer, which the very top layer I like to kind of take outward a little bit, just to give that hair a little bit of movement. So it doesn't just all look very too well structured, if you know what I mean. And then once I'm all done, I like to finish it off with a little bit of uh, some kind of nourishing oil. This is the Amica one. It's the my favorite one. It's the best one because it doesn't weigh down your hair and it doesn't make it look greasy. It just makes it look shiny and smells nice and it just flows and I absolutely love this. This is my ab like my absolute holy grail hair oil. So this is just how I personally straighten my hair. There's no actual right or wrong way. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!